Rebecca. Rebecca? What do you think? Is this a fucking joke? Excuse me? What do you think you're doing? Just stop it. I mean, how much more money do any of you really need? Why would you ever consider taking something away from people that means so much to them? This isn't a game. Football isn't just a game. England dominating, no surprise. It's one of those amazing things in life that can make you feel shit one moment. You'd expect Southgate to be looking his best right now, and we're going to allow a substitution. AFC Richmond's Jamie Tarr winning his first cap for England. An unforgettable moment and well earned. And then, like it's Christmas morning, the next. Wearing 24, the nod to his Richmond teammate, the spectacular Sam Obisania. It has the ability to make heroes and villains out of ordinary men. People love this game. My father loved this game. You all used to love this game. I'm sure of it. I knew this little boy, working class, from Richmond. He loved football so much. He used to sneak into the matches because his family just couldn't afford the tickets. And one afternoon, he finally got caught. And the security guard smacked him round the face, knocked him on the ground. But that little boy stood up, smiled, kicked the security guard in the bollocks and ran away, never to return. Until 25 years later, when he walked in and bought the entire club. And on his first day as owner, he went and found that same security guard and gave him a pay rise without any explanation. just because we own these teams doesn't mean they belong to us. And I don't want to be part of something that could possibly destroy this beautiful game. Because I would hate for all those little kids and grown-ups out there to ever lose access to that beautiful, passionate part of themselves. What a lovely speech. Now, who wants to make a lot of money? <laughs> eh?